Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with an SMG version of the stick. Now, in the stream last night, Red Devil out of the United Kingdom said that he's been using an SMG version of the stick, and I think this notion of recoil and the stats scaring people away is starting to fade away because when you're in the game and you have aim assist if you're playing on a console then the recoil is not nearly so draconian as it indicates in the statistics and we're going to look at some of these statistics the other thing that i did with this is i've added the paracord grip new for season five along with the quartermaster suppressor so let's start with those two attachments the quartermaster suppressor gives us some recoil control and i won't talk about recoil until i go to the no stock attachment and you can see that the ads speed is 251 milliseconds that's as good as it's going to get with this build we can make it better by using the shadow strike if we need a suppressor sprint to fire is an awesome 127 milliseconds quartermaster hurts that too shadow strike would drop those numbers to 238 milliseconds 115 milliseconds and who cares about the recoil but let's look at the damage headshot is a weighty 54 with upper torso as good as most headshot for weapons at 46 lower torso 46 and the upper legs at 36 600 rounds per minute rate of fire that's 10 rounds every second so it's three rounds to the head for a GAC and you can estimate how long that would take at 10 rounds a second that's a 200 millisecond time to kill on a fully healthy enemy if you get all three in the head for the upper and lower torso it is a four round kill the first round's a hit scan all the way out to 43.7 meters so really you got to calculate three it's somewhere 275 to 300 millisecond time to kill which is is pretty blinding the paracord attachment gives us all green no red horizontal recoil is somewhat handled movement speed is increased slightly as is ads movement speed to 3.3 meters per second which is a decent number for an assault rifle sprint to fire speed gets us down to 127 milliseconds again these numbers are composites for all of the attachments that i've hung on the stig 50 round drum magazine now red devil in the united kingdom said to hang a 40 round mag i'm going free for all i'm going to take those extra 10 rounds and i can show you why you can see all the red on the right hand side of the diagram there reload quickness is impacted by 20 percent but it's still only three seconds that's not bad and if you take a look at the mobility stats six eight two three three sprint to fire speed three take a look at the 40 round mag you got four Four, four, two, one. anything less than 10%, I really don't worry that much about. So it didn't cost me a lot more to go ahead and put the 50 round drum on it. Now, the no stock attachment, 131% on the visual recoil, 36% for the horizontal and vertical. If you take a look at the numbers though, 7.81 degrees per second is not bad for horizontal recoil, even at an additional 36%. The vertical recoil, well, we're about to take a look at that and the accuracy 2.6 degrees per second on the hip fire and when do we use a hip fire when we're up close and we don't want to pull the weapon up into ads look at all the green though movement speed 5.1 meters per second you're not going to beat flash in a foot race but it's okay crouch movement speed at 2.3 meters per second if you like to count the hairs on your big toe and 5.6 meters per second for the sprint tactical sprint is 7.1 meters per second which is quick ads movement speed we've already discussed at 3.3 meters per second helps with the ads and significantly with the sprint to fire now i mentioned the recoil let's have a look at it the shooting range first hip fire no control goes up and eventually to the right all 50 rounds and how about no control ads you can see the aim idle sway is fairly significant not near the vertical amplitude or horizontal amplitude so it doesn't go up as far doesn't go to the right as far and of course people say that there's aim assist I just got a comment that said that I really don't see it in the shooting range I don't know let me know if what you think about that the documents I found said it either doesn't exist it was eliminated for season five or that it doesn't always work 
Let's go back to that no stock attachment. Bullet velocity 946 meters per second, which means you can reach out to 43.7, almost 45 meters to gack somebody. And the final attachment is the short barrel. And you can see that it decreases the effective damage range 2%. That's just a cough. You're not going to notice no sickness there. And it significantly helps with the sprint to fire. So we had 28% and 21% decrease in the sprint to fire speed. Helps with the ADS and I'm not even going to talk about 2% and 1%. And then finally let's take a look at going into free for all, the perks, what I'm using, quick grip in case I need to switch to the Renetti. I always carry a trophy system in case I get trapped in a corner or something and I know a Granado is coming my way. Covert sneakers are a must. I use the demolition vest so that I get two lethals and I use proximity mines because I do get a fair amount of kills with them. Mission control to decrease the score it takes to get my streaks and the black light flashlight so in case the enemy steps in paint which they do every time they can lead me to the site of their death as far as streaks in free for all i use the mosquito drone especially since in season season five they made it so that the mosquito drone will not kill the person that launches it before i'd get killed at least 70 percent of the time i still used it and i use the cluster mine that one if you can get to it it takes a lot of kills and then finally i use the remote turret you can notice that every one of my streaks is kill based i used the uav for a while but i just i don't know i i kept getting gacked by looking at that instead of looking at what was the enemy in front of me the final thing i'll mention is that if the enemy gets a streak in the air like a vtol and overwatch if they get one on the ground that's a killer like the turret i will put the hacked ifs strobe on they won't be able to see me you can actually save this in your armory under let's just say i ff so you can quickly change to it just in case somebody puts one of those streaks up speaking of putting up streaks let's see if we can do a few we'll take the paracord quartermaster high recoil stg onto the field of honor see how it did for grandpa see what it did to grandpa's sometimes friendly sometimes not enemies let's go all right let's get ready to rumble here the SMG Paracord slash Quartermaster Suppressor STG 44. I call it the Stig. I believe they were developed by the Germans in World War II. A very good weapon. One of the first assault rifles, if not the first. You can see it. Did you see the recoil? It's a high recoil gun, and that thing shot straight. So, movement speed is fine. Tack, tack movement speed, and, you, and it gacks in a hurry. That was a hip shot, for those of you wondering when to hip shoot, when you're just right up close and you don't have time to ADS. That was a 54 to the head, 54 damage, 46 to the upper torso. The guy didn't stand up very long and drop shot. Looking good. Grandpa likes the cluster mines. Kind of little welcome mats for the enemy. This guy, I don't know what he's doing. He's looking for somebody in the window. But you don't stand out in the middle of the map to do that. So we get a turret. Got to figure out where to put it up, but we got six or seven. And we had nine, a streak of nine or eight. An eight streak. There's this guy. Now, I don't know how people all of a sudden start running so fast once I start shooting them. Let's test a recoil here, and we get a crossfire. We'll gack the guy that gacked the guy, or maybe just put up the turret. Looks like a good spot. Usually I die a few times trying to get that up. A little welcome out. Oh, well, there's a Muppet. Muppet downstairs, and he's trying to annoy the turret. You can see the 3.3 meters per second aim movement speed is fantastic. Generally, there's people upstairs in that building, but you know what? I don't worry about it too much because they are going to be camped in there like 
snuggly mugget muppets muppets snuggling in Whoa, Grandpa gets gacked in the back and somebody running to muppetize himself. Instead of deputize, they muppetize. He's a goner. He's a goner. Uh, drop shot. Nope. No drop shot needed. Look, that person was able to run really quickly after you shot him. Me, I'm usually just bleeding. Trying to move. The weapon is really smooth and that hundred and some degrees per second gun kick, you don't see it. I mean, there is some gun kick, but it's not like it obligatory knife for when they stop being able to compete with a gun in free for all. Then you see guys running around with their knives, usually the secondary weapon, willing to trade a life for a gack. Preferably don't have to. This weapon kills fast. It's got a punch. It's got like a Mike Tyson punch to it. I ate a Granado there. Perfect map for it because you can get short range, medium range. He's trying to get in his Muppet cocoon there. I don't usually don't like in free for all running down too many straight open lines like that even inside the you see there's no recoil even inside the husks of the airplanes or there I should have been on the other side sometimes I try to draw fire if it's not a very strong lobby so I know where people are <laughs> grandpa's pixels are somewhere not in this room Elvis has left the building just need three more Gax Likely candidates for the Stig. You can see no recoil. Once you get them ADS, once you get them in your sights, aim assist I think helps out is what some of you hypothesize. There's one, two. There's the end. Grandpa didn't wear his hat for that one, so you could see his lovely flowing locks. It's one, two. All headshots. All right, so there's one. Now, I switched it up on you. What I did was, for this next one, I took the configuration piece. I took the configuration that Red Devil recommended, the one that I actually had in my... in my uh, armory at the time, and... 40 round mag and the shadow strike suppressor this time. Ooh. Somebody hopping along there. Boom. And see how that one does. The ADS movement speed and the ADS speed are much are somewhat better. Oh, there's an iron back. I think Tommy Chong has too much pride than to use a shield during free-for-all. I don't know. It's pretty cheese, pretty cheese. There we go. That's a typical Muppet spot there, and they gax Grandpa. Look at there. Two kills, four deaths. Grandpa starting with a .5 KD. Not good. There's the iron back. Iron back Chong. The guy's not even paying. There's iron back Chong again. Grandpa's down by six Gax. But the weapon does move faster this way. You know, I don't see any particular need for the quartermaster on this. I'll tell you why. Because once you get somebody in the sights, you don't see the recoil. Whoop. Well, not a double kill, but not a triple kill. If I'd have had the 50 round mag. Oh, really? If I'd have had the 50 round mag, I probably still would have been gacked. There's Iron Back. Iron Back Chong. 
Looks like somebody trod upon on a grandpa's pro. Oh, a Muppet. Ouch. So I'm trying to work my way back in. I mean, that was pretty humiliating being at the very bottom. You can see there's not a huge bandwidth between the top and the bottom. Three Gax between first and fifth. But I feel every bit as confident in close up encounters with this weapon as I would with any SMG and then can reach out to almost 45 meters with a powerful punch. You got one to the head, Gak Delvis, there's that Muppet over there. Throw, oh, looks like somebody dealt with them. There they are. They went, where did they go? Oh, there's Ironback Chong, the man with, I won't say it. You know, I think that if you wear an iron back, it ought to significantly slow you down because the weapon is active. Even when it's on your back, it's still protecting you. So you should be going at about max of, well, let's say cat sniper speed, four, four meters per second, maybe, as your sprint speed. And that would cut down on these guys. It's not abuse because it's in the meta, but it's something you wouldn't do. You know. Like I'm probably not against the law to kiss your sister, but probably something any, anybody wouldn't do that has any pride. There he is. That's the way I look at people wearing iron back, basically, in a friendly way. I mean, non-judgmental way and with Christian love. That's how I look at them. Here we are at distance. Still in fourth place. Ooh, that hurt. There we go. A little distance shooting. Guy's gonna try to get away from me and run at me. That's a little crazy. Never seen Grandpa gets the gack from the rear. Buys the farm. And the weapon performs admirably. Very fast. The ADS movement speed saved Grandpa there. He couldn't save him from the bullet come from the side, but it won the engagement. You're always going to have somebody coming from the side and free from I mean, there's always that chance. Uh, let's see if there's any Muppets. There we are at distance, and it works fine. Somebody from the side or behind, but Grandpa's built the lead, so it's time to be tenacious. One minute remaining. So give both configurations a whirl. That's the only difference in this one is the shadow strike and the 40 rounds. Let Grandpa know what you think. There's, oh, Ironback Chong is now Elvis, the king. Can't allow that to happen. Somebody win with an iron back. Just need one more gack because he stepped on my proximity mine after I, I gacked that person. Just need a volunteer. He's not a volunteer. Need a gack. Get up in the middle. But comment below and tell us how you 
like the Stig and the SMG configuration, whether you're using the Quartermaster or the Shadow Strike or 50 rounds or 40 rounds. Grandpa's dancing a little bit there. Can't help himself. But anyway, please like and subscribe. Definitely helps me. Helps the family. I enjoy playing with you on the live streams live. So join those on Wednesday nights and Sunday nights at 6.30 Central USA time. Thanks for watching. Cheers to you and peace.